complicated slides are a pain to deal with, right? Interestingly, not with a selection pane. If you're a fan of Shrek, you'll know that onions, ogres and parfait all have layers, as does PowerPoint. The selection pane allows you to see every object, control the layers and hide and show objects on layered slides. You'll find it in the Home tab on the ribbon, then Arrange and into Selection pane. That brings up this new pane on the right that lists each of the objects on the slide, along with small eyes next to each. Click on any of the eye icons to remove the object from view to work on other objects behind it. You won't lose its position or its animation and just click back on the blank eye to bring it back. The selection pane also allows you to easily move objects through the layers. Moving objects up the list brings them forward in the layers and so on top of other objects. Moving objects down sends them back behind other objects. Every time you create a new object, it sits in a new layer at the top in front of everything else. So this tool means that you can integrate elements of complex slides together pretty easily. You can also choose to name the objects on your slides if you want to. Just click on the object or its position in the selection pane, and then click again to edit the text. This makes it much easier to differentiate between all your objects, and can be much more descriptive than Rectangle 42. Even more helpfully, if you have animations on your objects, the names also appear on the animation pane. It can make things much easier, but be wary of using it too much, because life's too short to be that nuts sometimes. And also be careful what you name things, because the names stay with the file when you send it to others. You have been warned.